Following the pandemic, colleges and universities should reinstate the requirement of standardized test scores from incoming students. Hi, my name is Ashlyn Warda, and this is a Higher Ed Moment. The results of the school shutdowns during the pandemic and the inadequacy of online learning are shown clearly in college readiness data. A record number of students are failing to reach college readiness benchmarks. ACT testing data reveals that scores have fallen for the sixth year in a row. ACT's college readiness benchmarks aim to predict student preparedness, claiming that students meeting the benchmark for a particular subject on its flagship test have a 50% chance of attaining a B and a 75% chance of attaining a C in the corresponding college class. However, a record number of students are failing to meet any of the ACT's benchmarks. Some of their key findings include the percentage of students meeting all four benchmarks for English, Math, Reading, and Science dropped 1.3 percentage points from 22.1% of students in 2022 to 20.8% of students in 2023, whereas the percentage of students meeting no benchmarks increased by 1.7 percentage points from 41.6% in 2022 to 43.3% in 2023. Roughly 1.4 million high school seniors took the ACT test, an increase over the 2022 graduating class. While the number of test takers has increased, the success rates have not. Since nearly 2 million students take the exam each year, these falling test scores indicate that thousands of high schoolers have likely fallen below college readiness standards. Higher Ed Dive reported that students in the class of 2023, the same students recently assessed by ACT, were in their first year of high school when the COVID-19 pandemic began. This connection points to the likely fact that COVID-era policies and instruction loss have left a lasting impact. It has been reported that across all grade levels, the average student will require the equivalent of 4.1 months of additional schooling to catch up to pre-COVID levels in reading and four and a half months in math. While students' ACT scores may indicate a lack of preparedness, many colleges will never see those test results. 80% of U.S. colleges did not require ACT or SAT scores for fall 2023, relying instead on less effective measures such as GPA. Due to grade inflation, GPAs are becoming less reliable for predicting students' academic ability and college readiness. This can lead to academic mismatch, where students are accepted into schools or programs they are not actually prepared for, which can then result in academic struggles, where students place in programs that are in line with their academic ability with remedial classes provided in weaker areas, they would be more likely to gain a sure footing and reap the benefits of higher education. Serious higher education institutions must ensure that their students are prepared for success. Relying on standardized test scores is a preferred method of choosing between college applicants. The continuation of test optional policies will only harm students and the universities admitting them.